bro you literally got a medical seat so first of all that is something really good to start with congrats on that be happy about it first be grateful for that as my title says in this video i'm going to be talking about what if you didn't get the medical college of your choice for example you might have wanted uh, madras medical college because you are literally in chennai and probably your house is just like 5 kilometers from the college or you wanted to get madurai medical college which is where i'm studying in it is an amazing college you might have wanted coimbatore you might have wanted some specific college but maybe due to rank inflation or due to some reason you didn't get the college of your choice so what next you are already in an amazing situation because you have been allotted a college first of all you have got a medical college you have got a government medical college so that is something most people don't even have their scores are only so low that they can't even get a college and in fact this year the situation is like your score is really high but even then you won't get a college like this year is ridiculous it's crazy so let's assume you wanted madras medical college and you have got only some tier 2 colleges i'm not going to mention the college name but let's assume you got some tier 2 college so what next see uh, i'll speak very factually i am rohit pvr a final year medical student at madurai medical college so i have seen a dog with uh, people from almost every single college in tamil nadu because and this part of this organization called sno students network organization and uh, through that i have got a lot of contacts from all the colleges who so have talked with a lot of people see mmc madras is like top tier it's like number 1 there's no doubt in that and uh, i can watch for my college that is madurai medical college my college is really good there is really good clinical exposure we will see almost all cases here like almost every single case in our book we can see in our watch we just have to take our time and go and see in the watch if we make time and see in the watch we'll be seeing all the cases there's no doubt in that so okay how do you say that a college is good or bad that is a question i want to ask you like what makes you say that a particular college is good a particular college is bad you literally went through some google search and you just checked it what is the top most college and uh, you came to know that madras is on the top followed by blah 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 whatever see as a medical student i will tell you how colleges work how hospitals work and how you can benefit from it basically mbbs is just this starting framework the i feel like the college you join in doesn't really matter much like as long as you join in a pretty decent college with a good decent patient flow it's fine you're doing good uh, because pg actually matters because in pg you are an actual doctor you have to be seeing actual patients to learn from them the college you choose in your pg is like significantly more important compared to the college you choose in ug so in ug most of the time you will be studying from books you don't have to see so many patients because the books are so there are so many books that you only have so much time to just read from the books so seeing patients are all you you will do the pretty rarely like you might see three or four patients every single day but to understand the patient to know what's happening in the patient to understand the signs symptoms in the patients you would have to study the book for like four or five days to understand that one single case a patient inflow i feel like it doesn't really matter that much in ug it definitely matters see i don't want to bring a controversy here it definitely matters but it doesn't really matter much so you don't have to worry that oh my god i have joined this particular college what am i going to do for example you might have joined a private college you might be worrying about uh, what if my college doesn't get enough uh, patient flow bro the patient flow doesn't really matter much because most of them will be studying from books you will be just studying theory most of the time because that's what you are supposed to do and uh, another thing is you might be thinking that this particular college teaches well this college doesn't teach well you have come to a college you can't expect them to teach you anymore you have to be studying everything by yourself i might say that in my final year probably 5 to 10% is what i learned from the hospital like fight only 5 to 10% of the theory i learned from hospital i learned from professors remaining 90% i have to learn by myself i have to study by myself i have to put in the efforts myself because the people who are teaching are not teachers they are doctors they are doctors who are teaching you that's it they are not teachers who are doctors they are doctors who are teaching you they are already so busy like the chief will be coming and teaching us it is so precious they are already so busy they are keeping time aside for us to teach us they can only do so much in the one hour right they only get one hour in the day off to teach us and they can only teach so much so what what will they do they'll be just teaching the most significant clinically important theory part because that's what they have been using for the last 20 30 years so only they can only teach that so apart from that everything else you have to be learning from the book all by yourself basically if you ask me i feel like as long as you do a ug from some government college or some really good private college like uh, ramachandra psg some not really private though but from colleges like that you are in a very good position just focus on clearing need pg you can get in a very good government uh, medical college for your post graduate and that's when it all really matters otherwise i i personally feel like there's not so much difference between 
these uh, UG colleges. Because at the end of the day, it's all about how much effort you put in. See, you have come into college now. It's like a major transition in your life. And you might have to stay away from your parents. I am staying away from my parents. Initially, it was a bit hard. But soon, you'll just get used to it. That's it. It doesn't become easier or anything. You'll just get used to it. You'll be like, you'll just get used to it. See, if you want to grow, you have to give up something. In this case, you have to give up the company of your parents. Give up the affection you get from them daily. You have to take care of things by yourself. So, I am like a completely pampered child. I always need my dad and my mom with me for everything. But in the last four years, I'm staying all alone with my grandma here. I have to drive myself and I have to take care of my food myself. I have to buy my own clothes. So it's all really different now. Initially, it was a bit hard, but now I'm just used to it and I have started to become independent. So this is something good. You can't always be dependent on someone else. You can't always be dependent on your parents. You have to grow by yourself. You have to do your work by yourself. So this is an opportunity. You might feel homesick, but at the end of the day, it's for a greater good. Like you're, you're literally becoming a doctor, like you are becoming a doctor you're going to be saving lives in the you're going to be saving lives in the future so isn't it worth the small sacrifice and given that we are in this technological world you can just video call your parents anytime so that also doesn't really matter so my final conclusion is that as long as you have a government college at your hand or some really good private college in your hand you are in a very good place be happy with that don't worry about that you are already in a very good place that most people are dying to get to so be grateful for what you have If you're in a lower college, you tell to yourself that, see, I did a mistake in my UG. That is not going to happen in my PG. I'm going to get the topmost medical college during my PG. And I'm, and I'm going to put my maximum efforts in the next five years. You just repeat this. You just say this yourself. You better record whatever I told now and just say it to yourself every single day. Do your maximum and you will be in a very good place. And if you want me to talk about something more, definitely jot it down in the comment section below. I'd be really happy to reply to you. So anyways that's it we have come to the end of the video thank you peace